we have added the database we have added the entity models now it is time to add the MD classes so that model validation is attached right from the start because we'll be dealing with data entry data editing so it is better to include the validation classes also right now at the start what do we have this is the diagram that we have at present TBL orders it is a it is connected to TBL products and TBL users will not be editing TBL products at all at all because we are just treating that it is something fixed it's not a part of our project to edit or remove products that modules those modules we haven't included so we have to now tackle this and this we'll be definitely editing or adding new orders we'll be editing or adding new users also so we need to add annotation classes for both the tables since both these models are generated by the EDM we'll need MD classes to add the validation we cannot add validation directly to the TBL order or TBL user classes because they are generated by the Visual Studio and will be overwritten once you compile the project or rebuild the project through Visual Studio we'll proceed one by one in case you are not clear about MD classes you will have to go through the lectures that I've given earlier assuming that you know those concepts since we are brushing up all those concepts through this project let us now see we have added TBL order and class to the entity models folder it has to go to the same namespace in which your in which your EDM generated class called TBL user resides TBL user is in the namespace IVM dot entity models and to the same namespace uh, I'll have to just give it the correct name here this is IVM project so the namespace has to be same otherwise this partial will not work correctly it will treat it as a separate class and annotations won't get linked to TBL order so this is one of the things that we have to always take a precaution this is TBL order I'll click this one this is namespace IVM project dot entity models and TBL order and IVM project dot entity models now I'll add these properties one by one there are these five or six properties I'll add these properties one by one to TBL order and and also apply the annotations to them I'll fold this and now I can start typing here first one is the invoice amount this will be a required field because of this the range will be 1000 to 1 lakh and uh, regular expression to ensure that it is actually a number that has been added so if something has been added it has to be a number and it has to fall between 1000 and 1 lakh and it is required next next I've added for product code foreign key it is required 